What's up guys, Big Dude's Trove here, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Quest. In this episode, first actually before we even start, I definitely changed the settings for uh, brightness on my Elgato, and man, the difference for this game is night and day. Holy cow. Like, I had the brightness so, like, it, okay, it wasn't that high up, but it was a little high up. I had it kind of high up to the point where it looked kind of blinding, but kind of lower, lowering some of the settings or whatever. It looks great. It looks awesome. And I was blaming the game for how it looked. Shame on me. Shame on me. But anyway, starting off in this episode, we are going to be putting in different kinds of ingredients and in cooking pots. Riveting, I know. We've always been doing this in this playthrough series. This time, all four pots are empty. But anyway, we gotta make different kind of pots for... Brain food a la cube to get better moves for Alakazam. I think that's what we're still doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we're still doing. And better... I don't want to say better, but more electric type Pokemon to grind and gain more experience for our current team. So, three blueberry, one apricorn, and one fossil, or you can do another apricorn. Yes. Alright, three turns I'll take here. Let me switch over since I am using my phone to look these ingredients up. Let me switch over to what? A risotto a la cube. No, okay. I was gonna say, we definitely do not have enough to do a special combination or whatever they want to call it. So, two honey. One tiny mushroom. One apricorn. And this, you can do another tiny mushroom or a blueberry, but let's do another tiny mushroom. This will take five. I kind of want to go back to... Brain food a la cube, just for one more time, since, you know, uh, well, why not? Yes. Three. And then this one, let's just, let's just make it random. All right, beautiful, cool. Yes. So as those are gonna be cooking, let's go on some expeditions. Take that back, let's, Kind of make our team more powerful. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. 384? That, yeah. Difference is night and day. Um, let's see some attack. 371. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's switch over to Magneton because I don't want Electro to get all of the fun and all the new uh, Power Stones and whatnot. Uh, yes, on Magneton. Well... Yeah, no, no, yes on, on him. And then we can boost this, hit this, ugh, we can boost, boost this health power stone up. Don't know why that was a ton twister for me. Gosh, my stuttering is bad. It's only getting worse, I swear. Okay, right, you actually not that bad. Oh, no, 400, what am I doing? Oh, a, a new spot. Nice. Thank you. Now I have three little bingo scratches in a row. That's good, trust me. And no, I have no idea what it does. I should know what it does, but I don't. Let's head back over to Magneton really quick. Let's see if we can power him up a tad bit more. 392 for anything? No. Maybe Electrode? I mean, they're as powerful as they can get. I don't know what else to do. That's the thing. Let's see here. Okay, no, that's not bad. Well, I mean, yeah, I can change this one out. Actually, that's really good. 1668 for HP, 2709 for attack. 211 for HP, 1625 for attack. And 
Raichu, 1617 for HP, 2272 for attack. This is really freaking good. Yeah, this is awesome. We're good to go. Oh my gosh, yes, that's 18,000. That's, what, 1,800 more? 1,900 more? So are we going to defeat Gyarados easily? No, I, I don't think so. Electrode, I don't think I explained this in the last episode, but he, I taught him a new move called Rollout. I mean, hopefully that will be really good in the long run. I just wish Magneton would get into the fight a bit more. Like, not stand back or whatever. That's why I kind of wish Raichu or Electro got Thunderbolt and uh, Magneton didn't. He got, like, Thundershock or a different move. Yeah, I was going to say, these Seedros these are eating us alive. Moving down southeast. Direction Poliwhirl and Keenler. Alright, get up in there, Magneton. I'm tired of you just standing back there not doing jack crap. Like, I hold Magneton to a higher standard than I do with Raichu and Electrode because look at the HP. His HP is fully up. He has max HP, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah, take out these Starmies that quick. Their ice beams. Uh, the ability, uh, yeah, the ability to freeze us way too high in my opinion. All right, yo, so far so good. Actually, we this is great. This is a whole lot better than last time. Damn it, sorry Raichu. Okay, thank gosh that didn't activate because I did collect Thundershock. You guys, just hit them. I need to evolve my Magikarp. Gyarados is such a ginormous Pokemon in this game. Holy cow. Oh, oh my gosh, yes, get up right up there, Magneton. Mm. Get up there, come on. I was gonna say, get one more hit in before you faint, right, Chu? Dude, we got this. Yo, oh, whoa, what move was that? Oh, he's paralyzed. Uh, retreat, retreat, retreat a little bit. Okay, sorry, Electrode. Guys, oh my gosh, we're almost there. We are almost there. Get him, get him. One more hit. Yes! 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 Thank you! Oh my gosh, what what was his charge attack? What was that? Oh my gosh, this game's like Pokemon Go. Oh my gosh, there's quick attacks and charge attacks. Oh my gosh. I apologize if I'm being too loud. Um, I mean... I guess I'll edit it out, but my, okay, completely off topic or whatever of Pokemon Quest, but man, I hate allergies. I really, really hate allergies. I feel like I'm, I'm doing a commercial and I'm about to sell a product, but I'm not. I'm ranting about how my e my left ear is clogged up. I went swimming and I got swimmer's ear, so my left ear, I can't really hear out of that well currently right now. So I know like probably as I'm recording this, it seems like I'm yelling. I know in edit, I would have to edit, you know, make the make myself sound quieter. 
But man, I hate allergies. Sorry, that, that was the point of what I was going to say. Hate allergies. If you have them, don't go underwater in a public pool or a private pool or a bathtub. I don't even care. Just don't go underwater when you have allergies. Because, man, it sucks. Anyway, we got a sturdy stone of 616 HP. That is crazy. And finally, we defeat this area. Uh, Arbok. Okay, got it. No, I want one of Gyarados, but okay. You discovered the longevity statue. Congratulations. Now your Pokemon up to level 50 can get increased EXP from expeditions. I discovered yet another new statue. This is the longevity statue. The statue is carved in the shape of Arbok. Could it symbolize the rebirth that comes with Molten or the strength of Arbok's deadly poison? What? What? Are you serious? This, our character that we named, sounds like a bigger nerd than myself and all the nerds combined. There are more areas to explore nearby. Let's go. One more to go. I just don't understand why he has like all this knowledge of uh, Pokemon, like and like Pokemon that come from statues or whatever, when really he shouldn't. Whack whack stone. Thanks. I've already, I've already gotten it, but thanks. All right. Just the area with the three Alakazams. We should be able to get it now. Not gonna lie. So, anyway, let's switch out our current Pokemon with the team of Alakazams. Just trying to look and see, like, if I have any Abras or whatever, but nope, we currently do not. And let's power them up! Alright, I'm just honestly just giving random Power Stones to whichever. I don't want to give all the top ones to one Alakazam. I kind of want to spread them out all the way. Uh, let's see here. Two, and then I'll put... I'll take this one. There we go. HP. This HP. And this one. The attack. Uh, okay, this attack right here. See, I hate how Alakazam's there. There are glass cannons, and that definitely rings true to this game because, like, they are. They can get knocked out easily, and I wish that wasn't the case. I wish we were, you know, I wish I can give them more. Uh, like HP power stones or what or like sturdy stones or whatever the heck they're called. Okay, seriously. Wait, does no, all three Alakazams aren't powered up, are they? This is the one I just powered up, level 69. Level 80 is powered up. Right, so 80 and 69 powered up. Oh, whoa, hang on, I totally forgot one. Uh, speaking of HP, let's... Yeah, oh my gosh, speaking of HP, yeah, we need to give it HP. You know what? No, 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 that's good, we're good. 69 and 80 are powered up. Okay, so why can I get up to the... I think it's 82. Oh, did I power them all up? Oh, cool, then... Okay, 1504 and 30-hundred something. 1822 and 2693. I don't know, I powered them all up, jeez. Yo, I am losing it, my gosh. Yes. This one can get powered up even more, looking at this, the stones or whatever attached to it. Okay, 
Probably not by much, but still, it's better than nothing. Holy cow. 387. It only has one HP stone? Whoa, what the heck? That's... okay. That's terrible. I mean, this one's a tank, but... Only 850 HP. Hmm. I don't... Yeah, we might have to get rid of this one. I just don't have good Alakazams. I think only one of them is good, and I think it's my overpo my most overpowered one. I think that's the only Alakazam that's good or decent. Um, Alright, sorry. Let me, let me do this really quick. I gotta do some math. So our overall power is 19,739 minus 15,400. So we are... Um, Overpowered by 4,399. So, and I think we're only overpowered by 1,800 for this one. So we should easily be able to to defeat uh, the last Pokemon. I, it's escaping me who the last Pokemon is for this um, for this stage for this area, I should say. Let's see here. All right, whack whack stone. I got. I have to put power up uh, stones with moves. I, I just have to at this point. Stay strong, stone. I, mean, I, I got two of them, so I might as well use them. And then broad burst stone attack with yes. And then, what, sorry, what move is this? Flash. I'm only powering up, uh, side wave? Side beam, excuse me. I'm only powering up side beam. Because there's no reason to power up flash at all. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. So we're slightly powered up. And we're good to go. Overpowered by 4,000. Remember that. Let me just go over the moves again. Psychic for Alakazam Red. Whoa, what the heck's going on with my... Nope. What's going on? Sorry, there's something up with my Joy-Con. My left one. Alright. Alakazam Red has Psychic. Green, Alakazam Green has Side Beam, and Alakazam Blue has Side Beam. I had to get rid of my, one of my Alakazams, I'm pretty sure. If I remember that correctly. Alright, Red Alakazam's Psychic is blocked for a little bit. I just love how fast they're going, holy cow. Yeah, this, this Magneton's a little... It's a little sturdy. Well, all of them are, I should say. Gosh, I hate their thunder move. Ooh, Electro, this one does explode. Thank gosh, thank gosh, we knocked him out because he was about to make me faint. Gengar's the last Pokemon. I just remembered that, by the way. I was wondering, I was like, who is it? It's Gengar. And on. Everybody retreat and, and form up together. Whoa! There's some move that Gengar is using that's overpowered, in my opinion. Yeah, see, what is that move? That's re no. Back up, back up, back up. Dude, Alakazam, okay. Still, but you gotta back up. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. This is no, this is not going well at all. Back up. What the actual heck, dude? Like this is not Yeah, give up. I'm I'm not no, I'm not wasting 10 on those. Well, he okay. He's underpowered. His HP sucks. He is the only decent one. So he needs to get, in my opinion, I say about 10 level ups. We need to replace him overall. And this Alakazam is just fine. So level 80 needs to get replaced. Last Alakazam needs to be powered up and level our highest level Alakazam is just fine. Now, I don't want to end this video in a loss because I feel like I've done that for a couple videos and that kind of puts a damper on my mood a little bit. So, I have enough PM tickets conserved through all the days I've been playing since I get 190 PM tickets since I have Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, and Master Ball decorations. I can buy a new decoration. The one I'm going to buy is Kangaskhan, Swing Chair. The chance for Pokemon with a multi-socket times two. That means what I think that means you know, not doing any research beforehand, is that it, whatever Pokemon comes to my camp can learn up to two moves. If that's the case, then yes, please. You, your, your delivery has arrived. King's Con Swing Chair. The effect is active. Chance for Pokemon with a multi-socket times two. All right, now let's find an area to put this bad boy at. I hate it when like I'm trying to like move down on this, the camera for like the angle of base camp moves with it. Like that should be patched up and uh, replaced. Oh nice. Oh I didn't know how big it was, geez. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So now let's see if it works or not. Let's try this stage one more time. I know we're gonna lose, don't get me wrong. Two of our Alakazams kind of need, one of them needs to go, the other one needs to be grinded. Well, let's try it, let's see. Side beam, side beam. Uh, I'm not gonna waste a side kick. Wild Pokemon. Come on, side beam, let's go. Okay, wave cleared. Gosh, blue Alakazam needs to pick it up. My gosh. I think it's because it's just he's lower level. There we go. More Alakazam. Guys, it's one magneton. Back away, back away, back away. Oh, yes, thank you. My gosh. I wish there was any way to like heal the our Pokemon before we went to like the boss's den or whatever. We got, we have them cornered, so. See, what the heck, dude? Like. Oh my gosh, I'm trapped in the corner, of course, so. I don't know what that move was. Get away, get away, get away. Come on, let's do this. Uh, okay, we won. Yes, dude, yes! Thank you! And I said we weren't gonna win as we got into this stage. Just realized I have two Abros coming up. 
Great! Yay! Got two Abras. No, I mean, I do have to use Alakazam, so I might as well go on with my plan. But the difference is that I can get and just keep the level 69. What? No! No! No, oh, okay, actually, hang on. I think the Arbok statue was supposed to be here, and then the Gyarados statue was supposed to be the last one, because you discovered the Reverend statue. Congratulations, now your Pokemon up to level 60 can get increased EXP from Expeditions. Because since I completed the uh, stage, the, the Thunder stage before the Psychic stage, I think it, they got flip flop. that's what I'm trying to say. Congratulations, this is the final statue, the Reverend statue. The statue is carved in the shape of Gyarados, such a majestic poke. Beep, beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. Moby? Beep, beep. Moby, you're acting strange. Beep, beep, bzzz. Moby, starting to speak, uh, Moby started speaking a noisy gibberish and then broke down. But why? I love how my character has to be the narrator explaining what's happening. He's like just looking at a camera breaking the fourth wall. Moby's acting up. I can hear a voice from far out on that island. I've got a bad feeling about this, but I guess I'll keep going. At last, I have been freed. Long have I awaited this moment. Whoa, hang on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Time out, time out. That's it? It's just... Just the boss? Hold, okay, I did not know that. I thought it was a bunch of other stages. So this is known as the Chamber of Legends, the final stages. I thought it was the final area, but it's the final stage. What I've seen other YouTubers and even websites kind of um, recommend is, of course, Alakazam and Machamp. Maybe two Machamps and one Alakazam, or two Alakazams and one Machamp. That's what I need to, to decide on. The thing is, though, is that I would need a lot more time to prepare. So, episode 22 should be the last episode that we do for this playthrough series. Oh my gosh, I think we just found our replacement of Alakazam, maybe. I don't know yet. Oh, well, actually, no, because these moves are terrible. Teleport and light screen? Jeez, oh my god. I think I might go in with two Machamps and one Alakazam, but I gotta get more Machamp. Well, I gotta get... I have a Machoke out, and I have one Machamp. I just gotta get more Machops to power up the Machamp and the Machoke. Okay, this might be the upper we might replace one of our Alakazams with. Maybe. I don't know yet. I'm still deciding. So, on episode 22, we should be ready, or maybe even preparing, to get into the Chamber of Legends. I was going to say Chamber of Secrets, like Harry Potter, but it's not a Harry Potter game. So, until then, see you guys later.